What's going on, YouTube? Happy Independence Day. This is Trainer Connor, and we are here with a awesome Wi-Fi battle video. Thank you for coming to this Wi-Fi battle, everyone. Hope you all have a great day today. Uh, whether you're going to be using fireworks to celebrate or not, you know, there's going to be a lot of fireworks out there. No doubt about that. Uh, but either way, I hope you all have a great day, and that's just what matters, because it's the birth of our country, North America. But anyway, so this is a passerby Wi-Fi battle video that I have for you. We're going to see Deoxys defense. If you look at my opponent's team, he has a Deoxys defense. And uh, believe it or not, Deoxys defense was banned by Smogon University for its really annoying strategies in the OU tier. So we're gonna see just how annoying this Pokemon is. And yeah, it's banned. So we're gonna see a great showing of this Pokemon. I'm using a random team. I'm just trying to use my shiny Chimera card that I have and uh, Scoutland's ability in the form of Sand Rush when the Sandstorm is active. So we're going to use Lizzie. I don't have Volt Switch on this set. He surprises me a lot right here as he goes for Giga Impact. Almost knocks out my Bok Choi, my Mega Heracross. We're going to go Mega. And uh, because he went for a Giga Impact, he has to recharge for a car, which means he has to stay in. And uh, we get a free opportunity to Mega Evolve and hit him real hard with a close combat. Fortunately, we're able to uh, survive the sandstorm damage with three HP to spare. I'm expecting this Mega Gross to go Mega and hit me with a bullet punch, which uh, this is an offensive Confagrigus. If it was a lot more bulky, then I would have taken the hit a lot better. But he goes for Meteor Bash instead of the Bullet Punch I was going to go for, or if he was going to go for it, I mean. And uh, it's, a, it's a two hit KO on my offensive uh, Kofagrigus. So I decided to stay and hit him with a Shadow Ball. And uh, here's Umbreon. And another Pokemon that is so annoying to face that is Umbreon. Now, typically, typically, Umbreon carry Toxic, um, Curse, Protect, and Wish. That's the standard set. Uh, so I stay in on it. I don't have anything that's super effective against Umbreon at this point. Uh, the Sandstorm wears off, but that's not going to matter in the long run. Uh, Umbreon have leftovers as a hell like on the shoes. So here he goes for the foul play. Now, I don't know if he expected me to switch out because a plus one Dark Pulse would have finished me off. Foul play uses your attacking stat. Uh, so if I went for like Swords Dance or something, foul play will do double the damage. So here is the Dark Pulse, and we actually survive it, which is kind of surprising. Uh, but we all know that this Umbreon is really bulky, so I wasn't expecting it to hit me very hard. But he went for Curse. Um, oh wait, that's, that's right. Curse raises your attack stat, not a special attack. Herpiger. But anyway, so that's fine. Uh, we lose Cofagrigus. But that means we get a free switch into something, which I'll be Lizzie. And uh, I wasn't sure what he was gonna do. I think he uh, he does switch out and goes into Megacross. I go for Hyper Voice. I thought that would do a little bit more than that because it is boosted by uh, his ability there. I go with a Thunderbolt and we don't take him out. Uh, Mega Mega Gross has higher special defense than regular form, so not 
food there. So here we, uh, I go into Scotland here. It has retaliate, which will do double the damage if you get knocked out by the last turn. Uh, he's actually faster. If I had Sandstorm up, I would be able to outspeed him. And uh, yeah, so we take a lot of damage from the Zen headbutt, but you know, that's, it's okay. Now here, I go into Chimeratar expecting a Psychic type move, but he goes for Thunder. He actually hits it in a Sandstorm. It's a 20% chance that it hits in the Sandstorm. So it was, I was kind of, you know, shocked about it. Um, I go with Stone Age here. I really should have gone with a Pursuit because I knew he was going to switch. But seeing that he had Thunder kind of made me think that he was going to stay in. I don't know why. But in return, we're able to um, take care of Umbreon. Two Stone Edges. Now, I, I have a choice banded, so an Earthquake might KO me. So I go in with Dog for Death Fogger. You did a great job, Dog, but uh, your Sand Rush ability doesn't help us out here. Uh, but you know, it's fine. I, I thought Mega Heracross would outspeed a regular Charizard. Apparently not. I was kind of like, I was kind of like, you know, confused at that time because, uh, you know, Mega Pokemon tend to be faster than regular Pokemon. But that's neither here nor there. We're going to use Reuniclus here. This is a Calm Mind uh, Psychic Focus Blast and Recover set, which I really regret that. I really should have brought Shadow Ball because if I had Shadow Ball, Deoxys Defense would be at mercy, but I don't have Shadow Ball. So Shadow Ball would have worked out here. I'm, I'm kind of stuck. I also forgot to mention that my Tyranitar uh, has only Pursuit, not Crunch or anything. So we're at a stage in this battle where it's like I'm kind of stuck and I'm just going to hit with whatever I got. Psychic at plus one doesn't do anything at the Oxus. So, I mean, yeah, if I, if I didn't, uh, it's tough, it's tough, I know. And also, had I not misplayed with Cofagrigus earlier, because Cofagrigus could take on the Oxus defense no problem. Um, if I didn't misplay it, I would have been in a good position. So I'm expecting another Dark Pulse from the Deoxys Defense. That's fine. Uh, we don't take that much damage from it. And um, I'm hoping that the Sandstorm damage, or Sandstorm recoil, whatever you want to call it, might help me out here. Stone Edge is actually doing a good amount of damage. I'm curious if another one would take him out at this point. However, you're going to see that the next Stone Edge I go for misses the Oxus Defense. That seals the victory for my opponent, actually, because I would have kicked out the Oxus had I hit that move. And uh, he had, what else he had? He had, he had some other Pokemon that are weak to Stone Edge uh, and Ice Punch. I do have Ice Punch on this Tyranitar set, so. Man, that just sucks. I, I really should have hit that stone edge. I've had some really crappy luck with the low accuracy moves like stone edge and focus blast and, you know, some other type moves. But I, there's really nothing I can do. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna sacrifice the necklace because I don't have anyone that can, uh, Handle Deoxys Defense, and like I told you, Deoxys Defense is banned from OU. But you know, I, I don't have any excuses. I really should have brought Shadow Ball, and Crunch, and all the super effective moves to hit Deoxys with. But 
I, I just came unprepared for that. We do get French a couple of times. You see that we French right here, which means we're unable to attack the Gyasis. But that's, that's fine. I, I, don't, I don't have any other uh, way of handling Gyasis at this point. So we of course, you did a great job in this battle. I'm really sorry, I really should have brought a Shadow Ball, but you know, it's, it's fine. So we're gonna face a full HP Gyasis. Uh, this is my last Pokemon, Resington, the Terminator. I'm gonna try freezing the Asus defense. Um, and like I said, Thunder is decreasing accuracy. So, man, the Asus, if you had like, you know, a different attacking move than Thunder, you would have a much better time. You miss twice in a row, the CS storms up. Your accuracy is decreased. I, I, my opponent doesn't know this apparently. Uh, we go with another ice punch. I have a choice bandage, so I have to walk myself into one move. That's why I keep I keep going for the ice punches here. Uh, that's you know. But anyway, so I'm really hoping for a freeze right here. You don't get that. Here's another thunder. And we, we actually see that he has Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is more accurate in the Sandstorm, not Thunder. So I'm really confused about this. Um, we keep going for the Ice Punches here. This is a stall war, you guys. I don't like this at all. I just don't like it. But we're really close. We're really close. Let's go with another Ice Punch. And we freeze the Asus. But he thought so. So, yeah, that, that just sucks. This match is over. So, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this Wi Fi battle. We're gonna see Kamaratar just trying to do some more damage, but it's game over. And here he finally reveals Thunderbolt. Had he revealed that earlier, this would have been done a lot earlier. But no, my opponent is acting weird and not going for the right move at the right time. So I hope you guys had a great time watching this Wi-Fi battle. I know that was kind of long, but you know, it's fine. So hope you all enjoy this battle. Make sure you like this video, subscribe for more Wi-Fi battles. Happy Independence Day. I'll see you in the next Wi-Fi battle video. All right, bye now.